Happy designing everyone I am Puranjay Parmar and in this video we will be designing this modernish form of ticker a 3D ticker effect inside a frame so let me give you a brief on how this video is organized this tutorial contains two major sections the very first one is analyzing the design that we want to create and recreate the process on how we are going to approach this problem second is the actual creation of the design based on what we analyzed in the very first section watch till the end and let me know your thoughts on this style of creating tutorial videos so finally without further ado let's get started All right so as you all can see i am on the website which is 3d ticker masking.framer.website where it says create this 3d ticker inside of framer so this is what we are going to build this two ticker pair of ticker effects so first of all let us do some analysis and let us see how we are going to approach this problem of creating this and designing this so as you all can see that i have already mentioned with this whole 3d effect 3d ticker effect is made of ticker transforms and masking so these are the three features that we will be using in order to create this very modernish ticker effect so first of all it's it's quite clear that we will be creating a basic ticker effect a 2d ticker that we usually create and then afterwards once we have created it we need to give this kind of a depth kind of an effect which which seems that it is going inside of the canvas right so we will be creating that effect by using an another feature which framer recently launched in its spring event 3d transforms or the transform feature transform property so in this transform we will be working on with the 3d transform uh, we will be giving it some rotation we will be adding some perspective to it we will be adding some depth to it so that we get this nice uh, kind of a perspective view of this ticker and we get this 3d design of the ticker firstly we will start by doing this or creating this design for one side of the ticker and as you can see the other side is just a mirror image of it so we will be creating the one side one ticker effect we will be giving we will be doing all the necessary stuff all the necessary things for creating this effect and we will be just mirror the properties and values and the features that we already put into creating this left side of ticker then we will add this both tickers to stack and then we will just play around with the positions and the values how we want on our individual level in the design so once we have added the transforms once we have added the 3d transform uh, here we will be giving it a y value y degrees of rotation of 45 degrees uh, i am just using it a, a random number so it's visually appealing and uh, it's it's kind of visible to us you can choose any random degree rotation you can even change the x and y values or, or even z values z degree values as well so i will be giving that and we'll be just mirroring the values for the other half of the ticker now once we have around with the transform properties we will get the ticker now as you can see that here on the uh, left side of the screen uh, this ticker is kind of vanishing out or fading out but it seems kind it seems that it's blending with the background so this is what is the feature of masking that also a feature that framer recently launched so we will be playing around with the masking which kinds of mask or blends the foreground uh design element with the background which we have right now on the screen so we will get this very cool chain kind of effect uh, for this sticker once we have made this we will just copy and duplicate it and mirror the properties mirror the values and we will have this kind of ticker effect 3d ticker effect inside of framer now 
afterwards we can use it in any format any sort of design uh, whichever way you want here i have design uh, whichever way you want here i have used it in the form of hero sections there are multiple kind of versions that i have created for this but uh, the hints are there in this video to access it so you can uh, crack the hints and get the link the remix link of this as well so now we have analyzed now we have seen how we are going to approach this design now let's straight away jump onto the canvas and start creating this design let's go there All right, so that was it. That was it from this video. I would see you next time with some more amazing design related concepts. And till then, remember one thing. I say this every time and this is something which is very important that web designing or any sort of designing is simple. So let's keep it simple and let's make it simple. Now let me work on my next video project. See you then. Bye.